I'm going to say two things and they're going to be very contradictory. I don't like selling the real estate stuff because in my opinion, it's way too commoditized. It's yeah. always going to be a price-based sale. There's just always going to be an issue with it. So the other side of it is I spoke in Dallas last year and one of the guys on the panel had a $3 million revenue book of nothing but real estate investors. So it's like, I can think what I want, but there's plenty of people out there that are doing it. And so I don't want to, like, if I make a remark sometime about, oh yeah, it's too commoditized or whatever else, you know, number one, ask me what I mean by that, because it may not mean that it applies to you the same way. I don't want to influence you from going in a direction that you may be able to be very successful with your real estate connections just because it's something that doesn't work with me. Down here, it's 100% excess and surplus lines, man. There's no value that can be given whatsoever. It's 100% the guy who's golfing buddy or you know, their college buddy or the condo associations that have an agent on the board or an ex-agent on the board or whatever else. And so- I say it's too commoditized. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But relative to the things that we can do with other stuff, it absolutely is. Like I know for a fact that if you have an account that has auto issues, I can go in and fix the auto issues. I can go in, use that as a wedge, lead it, put fleet safety in place, fleet monitoring, driver accountability, driver selection criteria, all the stuff that we do. I can do that blindfolded impact the loss ratio and then get all the, have all the other lines because of the work we're doing to fix the one problem. That's the MO. If the problem's price, the problem's probably always going to be price. You know, if the problem is nobody's ever come in and done a prog probable maximum loss study to tell us whether or not we can go with lower limit and write blanket coverage, because we're probably not going to have a weather event that affects you know, more than X number of dollars because we have geographic spread of risk, that's a problem. That's something you easily could could do with, with a, a third party to come in and, and help you with that. Or, you know, if you if you wanted to take the time and go through and enter all of that information into like a, a Marshall and Swift or something like that, you could have a fighting chance. But I don't know. I just, I like to go where I don't have to work as hard to make as much as possible because I know I'm going to work hard, which means I'm going to make even more. <laughs>